Where have I been the last 10 months? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So I've made a list of a couple of things that I've wanted to talk to you guys about. My mind is still processing that I'm not where I was anymore. I just wanted to make a video catching everyone up. Okay. What's been going on, all of the things. It's been about 10 months since I've been at home. I was working at a part-time job at a community college in my city because I had some financial goals that I wanted to reach. When I started at the job, I had just spent two years at home doing music full-time since COVID hit and I was really bad at socializing. That's one of the things that I wanted to work on at this job. Sure enough, after 10 months of working there, I had to be talking to people all day, <laughs> all day. I feel like God has a season for everything. In those 10 months, it was the season of growth for me. My mental, um, my mental capacity of, you know, socialization. I am thankful that this job allowed for me to work on my social skills. I feel like in those 10 months that I was working that part-time job, I felt that I didn't have any creativity. It was an interesting time. All I wanted to do was kind of like be away and I knew that the season would come to an end. I just didn't know when, but I knew it would. So I was like, I'll just stick it out and I'll just work and work and work at this part-time job. That mentality for me was so sad. And you know, I think that having this job actually pushed me to want to be more creative. That job was part-time, but I work basically 29 hours a week. So it was kind of like a full-time for me. It was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all day. Sometimes I had to make up hours like for holidays and I would have to go in on Monday. So I'd be working the entire week so all i had was mondays to kind of do music and all of that but i was drained from the week before but i had so much in my heart that i wanted to do so now that i'm home i am really excited to get started the good news album i'm this is my official apology the reason i deleted them was because i made all of those songs in a rush and they weren't um the quality that God deserves and I felt like it was just embarrassing for me to be honest you know they weren't done in excellence they were rushed they were not the best that they could be so I ended up deleting a couple of songs not a couple but a few I took them back into my library for reworking I can't promise that these songs will be out soon again I don't like saying things for sure because a lot of the times um, my mind changes, so the worst possible thing will be me putting these songs on SoundCloud for everyone to enjoy again. But now that I'm home, I can work on that and work on new music as well for Spotify and Apple. We'll see what God leads me to do. So that's where I've been the last 10 months, racking up the coin, praying, a lot and asking god for what to do i am so excited um i want to actually share the first page of my notebook with you guys and i titled it on my mind heart and to-do list let me read you guys some things that i have on here to leave my part-time job and come back to working full-time music starting youtube backup consistently reaching my financial goals and sticking to the plan my financial plan Organizing a catalog of music that's finished and ready. My sister, parents, and their well-beings. Reading more books, finishing the ones I already have. Having a strong prayer life slash secret time, secret time with God and reading the Bible thoroughly. Learning to sing, produce, and mix better. I also wrote down some things that I want to start doing as habits and these things were like reading every night, taking my vitamins daily, which I have failed. I failed amazingly. Slugging my face, my feet, and my elbows nightly. If you don't know what slugging is, look it up. Just go on TikTok or something like, yeah. I set an alarm at 10 o'clock every night um, that is titled Nourish and that alarm is reminding me 
to slug, to brush, to floss, to detangle my hair and moisturize it. Drinking nine cups of water a day, that's what I need in order to lose weight. And I'm really bad with drinking water. I haven't even drank in water today and it's um, smiling more, saying I love you more to my family and staying off my phone as much as I can. So these are some habits that I want to implement in this season, in this next season of my life. And that is all that's on this first page. I wrote a prayer that says, Lord, I present to you everything on this page and that is to be written in this journal. I surrender all of my heart's desires to your will. Help me, Holy Spirit, to be disciplined and diligent in making this life I'm living all about you. Thank you. You're adored. I love you. Amen. I want to remind everyone about Patreon. Patreon is where I post my weekly newsletters now. So they switched from my website to Patreon. So if you have the app or you don't have the app, you can download it and follow me on there and read my weekly newsletters for free. If you choose to become a Patreon, there will be exclusive content for um, the Tulip tier, which is only $3 a month. But if you can't pay that, don't worry, everyone is equally as special and appreciated for me. So I just wanted to put that out there. Download the Patreon app if you don't have it and follow me on there so that you could read those every week. I'm really, really grateful and thankful to the Lord. I'm really grateful to you as well. Your support helps me, like encourages me to continue going. So I think that this season is going to be a beautiful one, a pretty one, a happy one, a joyful one. And I can't wait to um, be here with you guys again. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful. So thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for staying here these past 10 months, even though I've been a little bit um, MIA and for uh, receiving me back again. Cheers to the new season and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.